Hi, Shelly here. Today I'm going to be making over a wooden G that we have had in our family for many, many years. And I've painted him, painted him? I've painted it a couple of times over the years uh, to kind of go with my decor. But today I want to try something a little bit different. I want to use some gel prints and um, so hopefully it's going to turn out as good as it is in my mind, uh, which we know isn't always the case, but hopefully it's going to go well. So come along with me. Oh, and if you're looking for some new stencils, check out my PayHip link below. So let's get started. So here's my G. It does not fit really good on my table with my camera here, but uh, I'm going to make it work and we're going to do it from the sideways. My idea is to take a couple of my deli papers and put them on here first as my foundation. I think the way I want to do this is to tear. I'm going to start off by removing my hard edges. Kind of alternating here because I want there to be, I mean this is just the background, you're not going to see a lot of it, but bits and pieces will poke out, I hope. In my mind's eye, that's what I think is going to happen, we'll see. Alright, and I'm just going to start by decoupaging these on to my G. Now I can't even see what I where I put my last one. That's gonna be the hardest part, I think. I can't really see if I'm missing any big places, so we'll have to wait till she dries a little bit. And we'll keep these little pieces to the side just in case. All right, now we can let her dry. Next, I'm going to use my mandala stencil and add a little modeling paste. And I don't think I'm going to go around the edges with it. Because that gets really dicey at times <laughs> over those curves. I think I'm just going to keep it on top. Gonna do a real thick layer. In fact, that's a little thicker than I wanted. So I think what I'm going to do is 
And again, working on a Mod Podge surface is my fave because you can just, you got some time to work with things. definitely much better and then I like to keep a couple of paper towels over here take the big stuff off and then smoosh it between a couple of paper towels to clean it off and it doesn't get it completely clean but it gets it good enough so that I can carry on All right, I'm pleased with it. So now we let it dry and then we can start painting. My modeling paste is dry and looking beautiful, I think. And now what I'm going to do, I've got a couple of edges here, just a little bit hanging over that I don't want. I'm going to go and pinch those off with my fingernails because it's this won't be dry hard as a rock until probably tomorrow or so. So any places that I want to go and just touch up, even though it's dry, but I can still, it's still kind of on the softer side. And I think that is really cool. But I wouldn't sand it if I was going to sand it. Uh, as I do sometimes, I wouldn't do that until it had dried for probably at least 24 hours. And I don't want it to be perfect anyway, so I 
think I'm uh, going to start stop there and start painting. And I'm not sure what I'm going to get and how it's going to go. So I've got a variety of tools ready just in case. I think I want to do my mandalas darker. Ish. We shall see. This is going to be too much. And then I can. I'm thinking I could come in with my lighter. Metallic at the end on top. The only thing is, I'm covering up too much of my paper by doing that. I like that a little better. Okay, all right. Let me dig that. Do I want to do anything with these hard, torn edges? quickly put it on, swirl it around to get all that white covered. And then come in and take some off. Maybe take a little more off where it's by my papers I want to show through. Cool. All right, so I'm going to let this dry, which will be fairly quick. And then we can come back in and wrap her up with our metallics. And what I'm going to try is just, I don't know why, it just works best for me to do these two fingers. I'm right handed, so I'm going to get a little bit of the, going to get a little bit of the gunmetal on these two fingers, and then I'm just going to kind of gently swirl it on top. Okay. And then I'll go in and get some of the sterling silver and do the same. Get a little bit too much down in there. the gunmetal is doing anything for me. What if we do it just the sterling silver on top? Let's see how we feel about it. much of a difference from here. I don't know if you can, but they look about the same, so I think I'm just going to stay with the sterling silver.
take a little bit off, put a little bit more on. <laughs> I think that looks good. I think I'm going to leave it like this. Dry. Yes. Need some black in there. Are too big. Well, I think it'd be fun to have some different sizes. Let's put some big ones. Now, I don't know how I missed these. Oh, yeah. There's my long that I wanted. And I have a good bit of them, too. And then I also have these little groovy things. I think I'm going to throw some of those in, too. Oh yeah, that's going to give us a nice mix. Oh, I'm going to make a big mess with them too. Ah. I think I want a few more of the black ones in there. spots with my glue <laughs> and then how am I gonna do this without making too big of a mess I don't know if it's possible not to make a big mess but I don't want to have them all over the floor Ooh. I like this speaking glue for these kind of things because it's very fast grab and and then it dries quickly. Okay. Oh. Ah. Uh, mm, ah. Uh, mm. going to be a very, very messy. How could I do this? All right, I found this. And I'm hoping this might work a little better than the styrofoam plate. Right. 
done just a little, little too much in this area. Goodness, what a mess. <gasps> there, because I have a hole right here. Oh, man. How come I didn't fix all that before I got going? Oh, there's another one here where the thing is. Yeah, that's too bad. What a goober. Wouldn't that have been great if I would have taken care of all this before I got started? So I'm loving the way this is looking. I'm going to leave it to sit and completely dry for a couple of hours. All right, we've dried overnight. Glue is good and dry. And now I'm going to take my chip brush and just gently go over the whole thing. To get anybody out to knock anybody off that isn't firmly ensconced in the glue. This would be a great time to touch up any areas where I felt like too much of the beads came off or whatever, but I like it just the way it is. I don't want it to be perfectly, each spot perfectly connected. Um, I am just very pleased with it like it is. Now what I do have is a few I still have a few cobwebs from my glue. So I'm gonna take my heat tool and hit it really quick just to melt those. I don't wanna go crazy with it because I don't wanna remelt my glue and shift everything. So I'm gonna be very careful about how long I leave it on and yeah. So here's what I'm going to be using, this UV resistant clear acrylic coating, coating. and uh, it dries really quick and I'll probably, I'll take it out, give it one shot, let it dry for about a half an hour. I don't know if I need to let it dry that long, probably not, but I probably will go take the dogs out, shoot it, let it dry, and then I'll probably give it another coat trying to make sure that I really give some attention to where my beads are to kind of seal them in place all right I've got her all sprayed and I just am very pleased at how it turned out I like that I can see my deli print 
uh, flowers in the background. I love the texture of the beads, metallics on the mandala. I'm just tickled about it. So I hope you'll try something like this with your gel prints. I'd love for you to comment and tell me how that turned out. If you did try it, it's always great for my channel if you will like and subscribe and maybe even leave me a comment. And I hope you'll join me next time. Thanks. Bye.